Hey there, everyone. Welcome to or welcome back to No Pants Profits. My name is Richard, sitting here wearing his cap, well, my captain's hat from MSC Cruises, as well as No Pants. And today I want to talk about, I guess, how to preserve your profits and whether the MSC beverage package is worth it. I will tell you, I sailed, and we're talking about in 2023, I sailed in uh, mid January 2023. I did have the premium extra package. I want to talk about the packages. I want to go through some photos of what was included, what wasn't included, what I had to actually beg for which is crazy uh, and whether or not I think it's worth it and what's really cool is I have screenshots from the little kiosk of every single transaction I did on the cruise uh, but I think I want to go ahead and if we're gonna talk about beverages we might as well pour ourselves a beverage and one of my favorite beverages to drink is a Long Island iced tea and yes this one's pre-mixed picked up a liquor store going to make this video but we'll pour it over some Perfectly circle ice. Whoop. And we shall get started. So, MSC drink packages. MSC has five, count them one, two, three, four, five different types of beverage packages in 2023. You've got three of them are alcoholic, one of them is un non alcoholic, and one of them is a child's package. So, let's make these as big as we can go. I'm going to go through their technical details, then I'm going to show you a bit of my drinking, give you a, a total workout in the end, and show you some pictures of some of the drinks because it's always good to see these drinks live. So, they've got the easy package. And really, what the easy package is, is a selection of certain cocktails that you can get. So, only certain cocktails can you get. You can see this online on their different things. Uh, draft beer, which is on the MSC ships, it is only Heineken. I would have been like expecting. Let's see if this any good. Ooh. Tastes a lot more tea like than I would have thought. Um, I would have been expecting more of like a Peroni. You get Peroni, but really, their draft beer is Heineken. Their selection of house wines are. Wines you can get to, you know, two buck chuck, uh, not great, even for an Italian cruise line. Mixed drinks of and non-alcoholic cocktails you can get, um, soft drinks and fruit juices by the glass. Pretty much anything up to $6. It's the way they really like to phrase it. They don't put that there on the main page because it changes depending on the territory, whether they're in South America, whether they're in the Mediterranean, or whether they're in the Caribbean. But the easy package is really up to $6. The draft beers are $6. The house wines that are a selection are $6. It's an up to $6 game per item on the easy package. Next package you got is the Easy Plus package. Remember this says up to $9. You can pretty much get any spirit you want, so any well spirits, classic cocktails, popular frozen drinks. One of the most unique frozen drinks they had, something they had that was really unique, it's called the Frozen Toblerone. It's kind of like a, what's that chocolate one called? A mudslide, but it's got a little bit of nuttiness to it, so it's like a Toblerone bar. That's something that's very unique to them, so highly, highly recommend if you get the drink package. I had four or five, six of those. Um, there's a discount on a bottle of wines, selection of wines by the glass. But what you'll notice is, I want to be important as well, is see where these can be enjoyed. Because this is where things are going to get into a little bit of a red flag in a second. Uh, the Easy Plus package can be enjoyed in our bars, buffet, main restaurant, and specialty restaurants, Ocean K, and other exclusive destinations. The Easy Package excludes specialty restaurants. Um, it... it uh, it includes, it covers all, but it excludes specialty restaurants, signature venues, uh, and things like that. And you'll see that you have different exclusions of where they are. So essentially, you've got the easy package, which is $6. All drinks up to $6. You've got the easy plus package, which is all drinks up to $9. And that this one does work in your specialty restaurants, but does not work in other places. Uh, and all three of them do work on Ocean K. And if you do get one that's included in your cruise, it's likely the easy package and you can upgrade to easy plus or premium, or we can go with premium extra, which is what I had. Um, gives you extensive variety of frozen cocktails, premium brand spirits, liquors and cordials, uh, pretty much the stuff with a name on it. If you recognize the name and it's not well, and this is drinks up to $15. But some special fancy exclusions apply. And that's really, 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 really important. Uh, also, when it comes to beers, let's just go over beers again so you can understand if you're a beer fan. I'm a beer fan, generally speaking. You have on your easy package, you have Heineken or Heineken. Or if you don't like Heineken, guess what you got is Heineken. The good news is they have draft Heineken almost all over the boat. So you don't have to worry about getting that anywhere. You've got most of your domestic beers, a couple imported beers, if you consider Corona an imported beer on your Easy Plus package, uh, 
So you got draft and bottled beers uh, on your Easy Plus package. And then you've got a whole sports bar, which we'll look at in a minute, um, that has all kinds of different beers. So if you want your name brand cocktails and name brand beers, that is what you want to go with. Name brand spirits, name brand beers. You want to go with the premium extra package. I was able to get some really interesting foreign stuff. Uh, when I went to the Teppanyaki restaurant, one of the cool things is I was able to try three different beers that were actually from the Asian area, Japan area. When I went to the sushi restaurant, I could try a bunch of different beers and stuff like that because this premium extra package does, 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 does work in the specialty restaurants. Then these are packages I didn't even look at, but let's talk about them. You've got an alcohol-free package, so soft drinks, energy drinks, mineral water, flavored water, fruit juices, coffee drinks, hot chocolate, hot teas, and soft syrup ice cream. One of the cool things included in this premium extra package, which is the one that I had, you also have a fresh squeezed orange juice from the fancy orange juice machines that squeeze it fresh. And then you have a package that is for minors, that is uh, pretty much... Uh, everything there it's just for uh just for for younger kids it's the same thing as the non-alcoholic package now if you book before you get on board you'll save up to 15 percent they don't publish the prices anymore i will tell you it's very nice and i will link this below so they get credit uh cruisemummy.co.uk has listed these prices to give you a ballpark i will tell you my package seven day cruise all in was slightly under 500 dollars um I will tell you, uh, five uh, slightly under five hundred dollars. It's like four eighty. All I can see is my charge right here. Uh, let me see if I can actually show this. Yeah, I think I can show this. This was for their fast internet package and for their highest end drink package, which was uh, five ninety seven seventy three for a seven day Caribbean cruise, which included not one, but two days at their Ocean K Reserve, which happened not. <laughs> Not on purpose, but a mistake. We were on the MSC Seascape. The engines went ahead and broke on the MSC Seascape. So we had to go back to the Ocean K. Now what I want to do, so like you see, you see um, you've got your different prices there. Again, kind of easy, starts at $38 across all of them. And if you do book like a balcony cabin or higher under a lot of rates, easy will be included and you can go up to it. Uh, easy plus is about $10 more a day. Uh, $20, $30 more a day, depending where you are. Uh, premium Extra gets a little bit more expensive, but if you do book them before, you get a 15% discount. Now, I have all my math worked out to kind of show you. Again, I paid slightly under $500. I think about $480 I paid, but I want to talk about <laughs> some of the drinks, some of the limitations, some of my favorite bars on board, and everything like that. So let us jump to the drinks. So we've got the drinks. Now I will tell you, they have a sports bar on board. This is their newest ship. This was what they call a tease. Uh, they did not have a lot of these uh, Lagunitas IPA and all these other ones. <clears throat> these drinks did not exist the whole time. Um, they, they said they had a lot of stuff that they didn't have on draft. Really, you could get Blue Moon or Heineken on draft. And that was it. If you are a draft beer lover like me, which meant that I was going to get some slightly, well, seriously more creative dishes. Now, this is the frozen Toblerone, which is kind of like a mudslide. It's kind of like a, a mudslide's nutty brother. So it's 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 got a mudslide consistency in it, but it's got some uh, some nutty in it, uh, which checks, makes it taste like a Toblerone bar. Now, I want to talk about something that for some reason. And I'm going to just quantify this as some stupid reason uh, was actually excluded from the premium extra package. Uh, so I want to point this out really quickly. Premium Extra Package, which is the package I had, slightly under $500 for a seven-day cruise. The Premium Extra Package being enjoyed da, 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 does not apply to our signature venues, including the ice cream shop. That's cool. We'll get there. The coffee shop, the Gene Philip Coffee, crepes, and gelato. But they started making other rules. Uh, and I did write this on my comment card, and I want to be very clear. They had a taco bar. And in that taco bar, if you've ever been a fan of Epcot and frozen margaritas or anything like that, in that taco bar, they had all you could drink frozen margaritas these are priced at between nine and eleven dollars nine and twelve dollars under the 15 of the package but i was told over and over these are signature drinks so they're not included now a bit of kicking and screaming later uh, i said make them over make them over 15 dollars or uh or let me have them and you know i was able to have them but that was not a uh not a cool decision, not something that I think was very cool. And like I said, if you want to list these frozen margaritas on the menu for more than $15, the drink package does, then you're good. But 
you know, <coughs> Richie got his frozen margarita and was very, very, very happy. And you could get margaritas kind of. That was the place to get margaritas. No one else on the ship other than the taco bar really knew how to make margaritas. I will be brutally honest with you. But I will tell you my second favorite bar on board was actually the casino bar. And you can see they do a good job. I will tell you, though, other than the specialty bars, be it the margarita bar, be it the specialty restaurant bar, be it other bars that are not included in your package, the beverages are the same everywhere. So this is not like a celebrity or a Royal Caribbean ship, which I have to say, where you'd have a slightly more varied selection based on where you'd go. You'd have drink, different drinks here, different drinks there. Yes, the sports bar had some more drinks, had some different drinks. And yes, the casino, I was always a very, very, very happy man at the casino. Uh, that was, uh, they were making me tiki drinks in the casino. And I will show you my casino tab. Uh, but, you know, like I said, I like to hang out. The best drinks I found on board were drinks that were not technically included was the frozen margarita. Again, remember that your drink package does work, does, 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 does work on their private island, which we went to two days. So we went to that two days and it does work in the sports bar where you can get uh, this was actually a blue moon from the sports bar that I brought downstairs. I think I topped it up with some other ones later on so it does work in the sports bar as well this is actually the sports bar but you can see they have a lot of taps right there and those taps never ever 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 worked but the nice thing was a lot of the specialty dining on board would actually have like Pacifico beer. This was a unique beer to the Mexican place, Hola Tacos on board. And they had three or four unique beers there. They had three or four unique beers in the um, in the Teppanyaki restaurant that were fully unique to that restaurant and you could only get in there. And I thought that was really cool. But again, that was, you know, there weren't any real specialty cocktails or anything like that. Uh, I did say, again, one of my favorite bars on board was actually the casino bar because it was the bar that was up until 3, 3.30, 4 o'clock every single morning. I'll tell you, one of the, the least impressive bars, the most least impressive experiences was actually their steakhouse. I ordered a Moscow Mule in the steakhouse from the highest end bar. This is how it was served. And let me be perfectly honest with you. It's really hard to drink this way. It was terrible. That's how it was served. And it was an absolutely terrible Moscow meal. Pretty much if the casino people were not making it. Uh, like there's another one the casino guys made. Really cool, really nice. Casino people make some some nice stuff. Or the taco people were not making it. It was not a good mixed drink. I'd rather drink beer elsewhere because sometimes they make things that look pretty. This was actually in the um, Murat Rouge uh, in the back. And, you know, it's a very pretty drink, but I'll tell you, it tasted like. Uh, tasted like nothing special, it tasted like El Pupu. Another thing important to know is that at the chocolate bar, the Vinci chocolate bar, your drink package didn't work uh, other than for the Heineken. They had some draft Heinekens there. But again, my, my biggest disappointment going into this package, and I hope this is something MSC will actually address, is that you could not, on a baseline, get all these frozen margaritas included in the top end package. If we look at the wording again for the top end package, I want to help you out. I'm here to help you out. I've already done my cruise. Um, you know, you can get entire selection of draft, extensive variety of frozen and classic cocktails. Does not apply to signature venues. They like to call certain things signature cocktails. Fine, call them a signature cocktail, but make them cost more than $15. Remember, that is the important guideline. Again, if you remember nothing other than this, $6 on the easy package, nine, this is in the Caribbean, $9 on the easy plus package, and $15 on the premium extra package. Now what I want to do is I actually want to go ahead and I have summed up all of my bar spending. I've removed some other costs and things like that, but I summed up all my bar spending. Again, I think it was about 
$480. Yeah, because it was $120. Yeah, $480 or so. $478, I think, was actually the cost. $77 was the cost, including taxes and fees and gratuities and all that. And I want to show you exactly how much I spent. Now, I've already gone ahead and summed all this up. What's really cool is I found out on the last night of the cruise that the little kiosk machines that you put your credit cards in with actually would show you every single charge. And I had 19 pages of charges, even though they were zero charges on this cruise. <laughs> so I did have a $400 onboard credit. You'll see my total debit uh, was $399.49 and I left 51 cents on the table. Uh, so what I did is I added up everything that was actually a drink here, removed any food, specialty charges, stuff like that, removed my, that's my souvenir shopping on the last day, but it is 19 pages. I'm going to flip through this and you're welcome to, you know, add this up yourself. You'll see it works in the lighthouse bar. Works in the main restaurants. Lighthouse Bar is out on Ocean K. OC stands for Ocean K. Uh, we've got the Cabaret Rouge. And yes, I would partake in, in a few drinks at a time here. Yeah, meaning a few drinks. I'd order one and then I'd order another one and they wouldn't close out the check and stuff like that. The Buffet, the Cabaret Rouge, which again is the worst place on board to get cocktails. If you are in the MSC Seascape. Uh, again, the best place to get cocktails. If you like tea. Tequila is in the Ola Taco Bar, if you want tequila, or in the Casino Bar. Uh, but you can see where I keep going up. Again, we're on page 5 of 19. I did spend a lot of time in the Casino Bar. Full note, if you are spending money in the Casino, you may not need a beverage package. Once you get to a certain amount of velocity, certain amount of spend, the Casino will put a little sticker on your card. But it only works in the Casino Bar when the Casino is open. Of note, though, when we are in, well, when the ship is in their own private island, is their own private island, both the gift shops and the casino are open. So, useful fact, but, you know, you could get kind of a free package in the casino if you play enough. Uh, you could see, again, casino, casino. Uh, in the dining room, I spent $57 one night. Again, I think there may be some inflation on this. I was never asked to sign any checks, but remember that the crew are getting... <coughs> a gratuity based on how much is spent here. So they're getting a fraction of the a portion of the gratuity. You see again, Cabaret Rouge. Taco bar. And that was like $59.79. I have to remove out. I bought one $20 all you can eat tacos. So it was like $40 in drinks and $20 in tacos. Uh, that's a that's the uh, tax. The, the hotel service charges the gratuities. But elsewise, those, those casino charges are not, <clears throat> I only gamble in cash. Those are actually from the casino bar. So you see all those. I've gone ahead and I've already added this up. But you see OC is Springer's Marina Bar, uh, Lighthouse, Disco Bar. So that's on the Ocean K, which is their private island. Again, more in the casino. 19 pages of this. I'm keeping this up. If you want to calculate this on your own, hey, go for it. Not my problem. Uh, full transparency here. But I will give you a total because I removed some of the stuff that needed to be removed here. Just the, the big charges that uh, were not drinks. But we'll see. Like, if you wanted to add this yourself, you'll see there's a time in which I spent $85 somewhere, which was actually in the specialty restaurant. Uh, that'll be hard to find. 57 It was somewhere there. Uh, but you'll see you've got all those right there. So I had to subtract out... <coughs> everything from there <coughs> except for the drink but here's the important thing is it worth it i will tell you i was traveling on my own and traveling on my own i only needed one beverage package um i did get invited on board by the casino <coughs> likely could have drank in this so I'll give you an example this is why i had to work out this math myself $97 on Butcher's Cut, about $12 of that was my Moscow Mule, which, again, I said was very disappointed. disappointing. I was invited on by the casino, probably could have gotten a casino drink package myself. Again, if you are traveling as a couple, you're going to need to get two drink packages in a room. If you're traveling on your own generally and you're not invited to the casino, <coughs> you're going to pay a single supplement. So that's going to hurt a lot of your, your benefits there. <coughs> but I do have a total which uh, I went ahead and again, I added everything up here and I'll tell you whether or not it was worth it for me or not. All together, all of my drink charges, and this is more of an underestimate than an overestimate, was $2,702.37. So we'll even say 2702.37 minus say 500. So 
I still uh, <laughs> drank $2,000 more than my package cost. Divide that by seven. An extra $314 a day on top of the cost of the package. Now, some people will say, hey, Rich, you're an alcoholic. How are you still alive? Others will say, hey, Rich, you got yourself a great damn deal. Good on you, brother. And I like the, hey, you got yourself a great damn deal. Good on you, brother. I will tell you overall, I love the beverage package on MSC. Uh, I slot MSC as a cruise line <coughs> slightly above Carnival and slightly below Royal Caribbean. But it's got Carnival-like prices, prices that are just slightly above Carnival. And the great thing is, unlike Carnival, as of right now, January 2022, not 2023, January 2023, there are no 15 drink a day limits. Remember that again. There are no 15 drink a day limits. So you can see that's how I can drink on top of what it cost me to get on board. Uh, on top of what I paid, an extra $314 a day in alcohol. Again, I, I, I brought all the documents up. You're welcome to add them up. I did underestimate my total, but my total for seven day cruise and drinking spend was $2,702.37 over 100 cents so for me yes it makes sense again i like the cruise line i will be sailing that was this was my first cruise on msc i've already got my msc hat i'm looking forward to sailing msc again in the future the beverage package for me on the msc c wait seascape <laughs> msc seascope major 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 go loved it loved it loved it you have any questions Drop it in the comments below. This is Richard from No Pants Profits sitting here wearing no pants and drinking a pre-mixed Long Island iced tea because I don't know how to make these at home. Now let's 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 add in a little more. At least I got the, the funky ice. We'll add a little more. Reminding you that when you wear no pants, especially when you're on a cruise. And you got a beverage package. There's only one thing you got left to lose. And we'll toast to that. You know what it is? It's your shirt. I'm off to Italy in a few weeks, so you'll see some new stuff coming in from actual Italy. Not on a cruise, but on a land tour. If you do have any questions, post it below. This is Richard saying toast. And I hope you all enjoy your beverage package on your next MSC voyage. Don't lose your shirt.